You know, sometimes we uh, put things on God. We say, well, God, why did you allow this and why you allow that? And my God, we don't even be, we don't even be thinking about uh, what bad decision we made. <laughs> Hallelujah. What we chose to do instead of follow, amen, what God's will was. Hallelujah, my God. But thank you, Lord. But even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, aren't you glad? <laughs> Hallelujah, my God. He's with us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So we don't have to fear whatever's going on. Because like the Lord told us, we're going to have tribulation down here. But we need to be of good cheer. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's overcome the world. As long as we abide in him, we'll be overcoming as we will. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So if you would, please turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, beginning at that 17th verse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, great God. Hallelujah. Bless God. In 2 Corinthians, that fifth chapter, beginning at that 17th verse, the scripture begins to read, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing the trust not imputing their trespasses unto them and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation Amen. hallelujah now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. Hallelujah. We pray uh, you in Christ's stead be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. We then, in that sixth chapter, beginning at the first verse, we then, everybody say, as workers together with him, uh, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. And that second verse, hallelujah, says, For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Uh, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now. Everybody say, is the day of salvation. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. My God, thank you, Lord. And let's agree together in prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus that, hallelujah, for us to all, let's stay steadfast, workers together with him. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Gracious God, we just bless your glorious name. We thank you. Hallelujah for being so merciful and gracious, so long-suffering and abundant and in goodness and in truth. Gracious God, hallelujah, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Hallelujah. And we pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus that you open eyes, give us ears to hear, my God, and open our hearts to believe and receive with meekness your engrafted word that's able to save our our souls in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah my God and thank you Lord help us to be my God hallelujah those that love you with all our heart with all our soul and all our mind and all our strength my God hallelujah oh my God finding out my God seeking to know hallelujah your will and hallelujah to keeping your commandments my God hallelujah and be found so doing when you return hallelujah in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And be workers together with you. Everybody ought to say in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And just want to encourage everybody. Hallelujah. To list, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And my God, let us, my God, stay Hallelujah. Steadfast workers together with him. Hallelujah, my God. Because thank you, Lord. We were looking here. We read here in this. Amen. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 down to uh, 
6 and 2. Thank you, Lord. Well, we see that, my God, we uh, too ought to be workers together with him. Hallelujah. My God, in our steadfast continuance in the apostle's doctrine and fellowship. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I understand that the apostle, hallelujah, Paul was, my God, referring, my God, to, amen, them, you know, the apostles there, and hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, those that were working with him, like Timothy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And he, you know, as he said in that 21st, uh, Oh, that 20th verse, hallelujah, that now then we as we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us, you know, speaking to the church of Corinth, the apostle Paul, by the Holy Ghost, he says, we pray you in Christ's stead, be you reconciled to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, my God. And he, you know, goes down in that uh, sixth chapter, the first verse, and he says, We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye, my God, hallelujah, receive not the grace of God in vain. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I understand, you know, he was ministering by the Spirit to the Corinthians church, but hallelujah, over in uh, 1 Corinthians, beginning at the uh, the fourth chapter of the, the fourteenth verse of the fourth chapter of First Corinthians. Hallelujah! I want to show you something that Hallelujah! How this, my God, applies to us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He goes on. He says, "I write not these things to you, or I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. For though ye have." Uh, 10,000 instructors in Christ, ye uh, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, be ye, listen to what he says, followers of me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Be ye followers of me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And he goes on to say, Oh my God, for this cause have I sent unto you. Timotheus, uh, who is my beloved son and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways which be in Christ. Hallelujah. As I teach everywhere in every church. Now, notice how he said in that 16th verse, he says, My God, wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And my God, thank you, Lord. And and he mentions Timotheus there, hey man, who he's and my God has sent unto them, my God, hallelujah. Who is his beloved son and faithful in the Lord, my God, and hallelujah, how he had ministered and uh, to Timothy and uh, uh, the God or uh, the uh, letter to Timothy, how that my God he should be an example of the believer. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And like I said, my God, he, my God, mentioned how to be followers of him. Follow his example. Hallelujah. Follow, how, my God, the way, hallelujah, he had you know, uh, taught them and how he had lived before them. And God and uh, Timothy was encouraged to be an example of the believer, to be that example, my God, for them to see, my God, what God is calling for in their life and for to follow that, my God, example as well. Hallelujah. And likewise, Paul, my God, hallelujah, who besought them, hallelujah, to be followers of him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As he mentioned back in that uh, sixth chapter of Second Corinthians, as, you know, he says, We then as workers together with him beseech you oh, also that ye be reconciled, that ye, rather, receive not the grace of God in vain. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. He, us being followers of him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We also need to be workers together. Everybody say, with God. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because, see, the gospel is all about, hallelujah, like in that fifth chapter of 2 Corinthians, hallelujah, at that, um, hallelujah, uh, 
17th, 18th, and 19th verse. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We've been born of water and of his spirit into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Out of this world. So, amen. We're new creatures in Christ Jesus now. Thank you, Lord. And he goes on to say, and all things are of God who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given unto us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God came in flesh. He, my God, hallelujah. He was manifest in the flesh, my God. Hallelujah. All to do this one thing. Hallelujah. To reconcile the world unto himself. He don't want anybody to perish, but he want all to come to repentance. Amen, my God. Thank you, Lord. So likewise, hallelujah, us, my God, following his example, shall likewise, my God, be all about, thank you, Lord, seeking to reconcile the world to God. Hallelujah. Seeking them, my God, to be then, like it says in verse 20, hallelujah, now then, we as ambassadors for Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, my God, we ought to be those that go forth, hallelujah, for his sake who came, hallelujah, who knew no sin, my God, hallelujah, but was made sin. Oh, my God, hallelujah. So that, my God, we could be made the righteousness of God in him. We ought to be busy being those ambassadors. Hallelujah, my God, and letting everybody know, hallelujah, be reconciled to God. Hallelujah. We need to be workers together with him. Amen. That's right. Say everybody say, let's be workers together with him. Amen. Let's be steadfast workers together with him. My God. So we need to follow this example. Hallelujah. And be followers of him. Hallelujah, my God. All the apostles in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And then in 1 Corinthians, hallelujah, that third chapter, beginning at the fifth verse. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, well, we'll see we need to be laborers together with God, hallelujah, who continually gives the increase. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It says in that fifth verse of 1 Corinthians, this third chapter, who then is Paul and who is Apollos? But ministers uh, by whom ye believed, even as, oh, the Lord gave to every man. <laughs> I have planted Apollos water, but God, hallelujah, everybody say, but God gave the increase. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, my God. If my brother, the, uh, the priest was here, <laughs> hallelujah, he was the one, my God, that God used to minister to me back in the day. Hallelujah, back on the job we was talking. Hallelujah, and my God, God blessed me through him to get the revelation of who in the world God is. Hallelujah, my God. Yes, hallelujah, to get that my God, blessed name, my God, hallelujah, oh, upon my life, get my sins washed away, baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, and oh, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, and my God, so it's not just about, hallelujah, oh, me being somebody big, and somebody else being somebody big, no, 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 it's by God giving the increase, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. And he goes on to say, he says, So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither is he that watereth. Everybody say, but God. Yes, my God, that giveth, that continually gives the increase. Hallelujah. Notice that, my God, E-T-H on the end of my God, giveth there. Hallelujah, my God. He's continually giving it. So we need to stay busy. My God, so it is it right. We need to stay busy watering it. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He goes on and says, my God, in verse 8, Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. Hallelujah. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Hallelujah. Why? It reveals in verse 9, For we are laborers together. Everybody say, with God. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's 
building. Hallelujah. And it goes on in verse 10, according to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. Hallelujah. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Hallelujah. My God. Because see, this is what my God, we need to, oh my God. See, when we're working together with God, hallelujah, the foundation has been laid in our life. We have, oh my God, heard his gospel. He's opened our ears to hear his blessed saving gospel. My God. And he's my God. Open our hearts to believe. Hallelujah. To receive with meekness his engrafted word. Hallelujah, my God. And we have, my God, been baptized Baptized. We repented of our sins, been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of sin. And we received the gift of the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. But even though the foundation has been laid, my God, hallelujah, we've got to take heed how we continually build thereupon. Hallelujah. We've got to be laborers together with God. Hallelujah. We can't be, oh my God, busy, my God, satisfying the lust of our flesh. But we got to stay busy, my God. Hallelujah. Putting that, my God, stone, my God, right here in the right place. Taking the word of God. Hallelujah. Putting it right here in the right place. Making sure it's in my heart, my God. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. Being busy about his business. Hallelujah. Being busy honoring him, glorifying him in our body and our spirit, which are his. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God. So we need to, hallelujah, make sure we'll, my God, labor us together with him because of the fact that, you know, I know Labor Day tomorrow, my God, and everybody get a chance to sit down or they don't necessarily, you know, have to do any work. But, you know, some of us, you know, we got that honey do, that daddy do, uh -huh, granddaddy do, <laughs> and, you know, all the, you know, that, ooh, man, that lifts off the chain. Thank you, Lord, and hallelujah. And, you know, I know you, mom. Mama's boy, y'all be cooking up this, cooking up that, and somebody got, to get, somebody got to get over the grill and do all this and that. But nevertheless, hallelujah, my God, hallelujah, let's stay focused on, hallelujah, my God, staying steadfast, work us together with him, hallelujah, my God, and be laborers, my God, together with him, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And it goes on. Thank you, Lord. In that 11th verse, hallelujah, he says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon the foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it. Because it shall be revealed by fire. Oh my God. And the fire shall try every man's work, work of what sort it is. My God. So, you know, when we got to face this, when we got to go through that, oh my God, we don't need to be upset. We don't need to be depressed. <laughs> Hallelujah, my God. We need to have our hearts cheerful in God. Hallelujah, my God. Knowing, my God. Hallelujah. Our works that the fire shall try every man's works. All of our works to reveal what they are. Whether they are of, uh, of the flesh or whether they are of God's spirit. Hallelujah. Are we walking in the spirit? Or, hallelujah. Or are we fulfilling the lust of the flesh? Which, which side are we on? Are we honoring God or are we dishonoring God? Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say in that 14th verse, If any man's works abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Hallelujah. If any man's works, uh, hallelujah, shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Now ye, or rather correction, know ye not that ye are the temple of the holy, or the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth, continually dwells in you? For if any man defile the temple of God, mm, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Hallelujah. You see, that's why, my God, we got to work together with God. 
Hallelujah. Be work, be laborers together with God. Hallelujah. Building upon the foundation that He has been laid in our life. My God. Hallelujah. That's why I love my God, the ministry of Pastor and Mother Waldron, because they're gonna speak the truth in love. Amen. Hallelujah. They're gonna hallelujah give us, my God, the things we need to build. Hallelujah, my God, upon hallelujah, this great foundation we have. They gonna, my God, minister that gold and that silver and those precious stone, my God, that good wood, hay and stubble, my God, every little thing that we need, hallelujah, my God, we need to be busy building upon the foundation of God, hallelujah, we need to be laborers together with God, somebody ought to say amen, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, and then in Revelation chapter 1, beginning at that first verse, hallelujah, it begins to declare the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him. Hallelujah. Uh, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, uh, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come, hallelujah, and from the seven spirits, hallelujah, which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins, everybody say, in his own blood. Yes, and hath made us, who? Kings and priests unto God and his Father. Uh, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Ah, yes. Hallelujah. He's made us, my God, kings and priests. Everybody look at somebody and say, he made us kings and priests. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. And then in that uh, uh, fifth chapter of Revelation, beginning at verse 6, hallelujah, the scripture begins to say, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when uh, he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, and, uh, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Hallelujah. And watch this in verse 10. And has made us unto our God, everybody say, kings and priests. Amen. And we shall reign on the earth. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now notice we he's made us kings and priests. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unto God. Thank you, Lord. Our God has done that. Now in First Peter chapter 2, beginning at the third verse, the Holy Ghost by the Apostle Peter says, If so be ye. Oh, if so. Be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a lively stone disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. Oh, everybody say a holy priesthood. Yes, my God, for to do what? To offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. Remember, he's made us kings and priests, and we're a holy priesthood. Hallelujah. To offer up spiritual sacrifices, accept the word of God by him, uh, by Jesus Christ, my God, our Lord. And so, hallelujah, we need to, oh, my God, stay focused, my God, on this be stay steadfast workers together with him thank you lord and it goes on in verse 6 it says wherefore also it is contained in the scriptures behold i lay in zion a chief cornerstone elect precious hallelujah and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded hallelujah unto you therefore which believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone which the builders disallowed the same is made the head of the corner and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense uh, uh, even to them which oh my god stumble at the word being disobedient whereunto also they were all pointed hallelujah everybody say but ye <laughs> yes but ye are a chosen generation everybody say a royal priesthood yes the holy nation a peculiar people hallelujah that ye should show forth the praises of him uh, uh, who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light uh, hallelujah how many of you know that my God being workers together with him oh my God hallelujah that royal priesthood hallelujah is all about my God showing forth the praises of him my God <laughs> hallelujah all about showing oh hallelujah the world my God, who God is, hallelujah, what he's done, hallelujah, what he's calling for, hallelujah, what he's going to bring to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, he called us out of darkness into his marvelous light, and he said, my God goes in verse 10, which in time past were not a people, but are now, everybody say right now, the people of God, which, my God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtain mercy hallelujah my God and see having obtained that mercy we need to be busy about his business hallelujah went through those scriptures my God to show how that God hallelujah my God has called us my God forced to be a royal priesthood kings and priests in the name of the Lord Jesus and in Malachi hallelujah chapter 2 beginning at that first verse hallelujah <coughs> we'll see it in his word my God hallelujah that he, my God, declares, he said, and now, O ye priests, hallelujah, this commandment is for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. The royal priesthood you are. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. See, we're going to see, my God, well, my God, hallelujah, that as his priests, my God, hallelujah, continually offer up spiritual sacrifices, my God, will walk with him. Thank you, Lord, who's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come unto repentance and have life, my God, and that more abundantly. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He said, and now, O ye priests, this is the commandment. This commandment is for you. Hallelujah. He goes on and he says, if ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse Oh, your blessings. Oh, yea, I have cursed them already because ye do not lay it to heart. Oh, my God. Tell somebody, we got to make sure it's in our heart. And we got to do it from our heart. Yes, my God. Hallelujah. We got to receive his word into our heart. We've got to obey it in our heart. Not just putting on a form of godliness. But no, we've got to have it down in our hearts. My God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And he goes on to say in that third verse, Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your oh, solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it. Mm -mm -mm. And ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be, oh, with Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. And he says in that fifth verse, My covenant is with him oh, of life and peace. And I gave them to him for the, the fear 
wherewith he feared me. Oh, yes, my God. And was afraid before my name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. You see, oh, my God. Levi, that priest he was, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, my God. He had the right heart, my God. He was all about, oh, my God, being, my God, to reverently, oh, my God, and worshipfully fear, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, almighty God. Hallelujah. And he was, my God, before his name, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. He stood in awe, my God, and revere. He was all about, you know, making sure that God was honored. Honored in every word, my God, in every deed, all the sacrifices. He was, oh, his heart was in the right place. Somebody say amen. Thank you, Lord. And see, that's what God is calling for. Our hearts to be right where he's calling them to be, what he is looking for. Because, my God, he is searching for those that will worship him in spirit by, everybody say, in spirit and in truth. That's right, my God, not just acting like it, not just, you know, okay, yeah, and this and that, but got something else going on in our heart. No, no, no. Amen, my God. This priest had it right, my God. Hallelujah. And likewise, we need to follow this example. Hallelujah. And be those, oh, that holy priesthood. Hallelujah. That's all about, my God. Hallelujah. Doing it from our heart. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. Thank you. And he went on to say in that six verse, uh, the law of truth was in his mouth. Oh my God, hallelujah. And iniquity was not found in his lips. Mercy, hallelujah. Everybody see a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. That, see, that's how we work together with God. Hallelujah. We are all about my God. See, he is the way, everybody say the truth. And the life, my God. Thank you, Lord. We're all about, and we don't let nothing but truth, <laughs> hallelujah, oh, be in our mouth. We don't, my God, let any iniquity to be found in our lips. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say, he walked with me in peace and equity. God said, he walked with me. He was a working together with God. He labored together with God. Hallelujah. The priest he was, my God. Hallelujah. And that's how we need to be. We're a royal priesthood. We don't need to allow ourselves, oh, to be walking around, talking like the world, acting like the world, oh, my God, dressing like the world. No, we need to be all about, uh, hallelujah, my God, in my thoughts, uh, hallelujah, in my desire, oh, my God, everything within me is all about worshiping him, uh, all about honoring him, all about praising him, uh, hallelujah, laying my God, uh, presenting my body unto him, a living sacrifice. Everybody shout, holy. Yes, it was acceptable to God. Hallelujah. And see, that priesthood was all about bringing them holy priests, my God, or them holy sacrifices. Not presenting anything to God that God would, did not allow. Or only what was acceptable to God. Hallelujah. And my God, God said, he walked with me. He said, the law of truth was in his mouth and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked Walk with me in peace and equity and did not turn many away from a nickel. Oh, I'm sorry, I put not in there. God forgive me. Hallelujah, not went in there. But instead, he did turn many away from iniquity. Hallelujah. And likewise, he didn't be, his life was not turning away from God in iniquity. And my God, he, my God, was all about, hallelujah, speaking the truth and love, my God, and getting everybody else to turn away, oh, my God, from iniquity. Hallelujah. And turn to God. Hallelujah, my God. And he goes on to verse 7. Hallelujah. He said, for the priest's lips should be or should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth hallelujah for he is the messenger of the lord of hosts my god this royal priesthood that he's called us to be hallelujah my god we are messengers of the lord of hosts hallelujah my god oh my god our lips should all about keeping knowledge speaking the truth and love my god hallelujah we should all about be seeking my god the law at his mouth seeking god's word see we got to always remember we don't live by bread alone 
but by every everybody say every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God hallelujah so my God we've got to always know hallelujah if I'm not living by what comes out of his mouth I'm dead Hallelujah, but I live, my God, not by bread alone, but by every word that continually proceeds out of his mouth. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. But look how he goes on to say, oh, my God. He's speaking, my God, to, oh, my God, those, my God, priests that did not, my God, oh, my God, abide faithful in that priesthood. Oh, my God. He says, but ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at my law. My God, unlike Levi, my God, he did turn many from iniquity. He turned many from iniquity. But instead, God says, but it's those unfaithful ones, he said, but ye are departed out of the way, and ye have caused many to stumble at my law. Ye have corrupted the, the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. He says, therefore have I also made you contemptible. Oh my God, and base before all the people. Oh my God, according as ye have not kept my ways, but have my oh Oh my God, mm -mm -mm. but have been partial in the law. Oh my God, tear somebody. We can't be partial. Uh-uh, it's got to be with all our heart. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Now, my God, I, I can't do miracles on this side, do signs and wonders on that side, and he don't know me because my heart is far from him. No, no, no. See, I know a lot of us are deceived, my God, because somebody can prophesy to us and it come to pass, and somebody could lay hands on us, and my God, that miracle happened, and we think, oh, they must be it. Uh-uh-uh. No, no, no. If their heart is not completely to God, they ain't it. <laughs> Hallelujah. I rather, my God, worship and serve with somebody because the Lord said we are living in those days. And in the last days, my God, many, oh my God, going to do a lot of things. They're going to cast out devils in my name. They're going to do signs and wonders and miracles in my name. Oh my God. And by them, the Bible says, my God, many are going to be deceived. The majority is going to be deceived. My God, even the very elect, those that are, have been specifically chosen by God and set aside, deceived. Oh, my God. That's why our heart has got to be completely in Him. We've got to be workers. We've got to stay steadfast workers together with Him, my God, so that we won't be deceived, so that we won't turn and walk away. But instead, my God, we'll all be all about speaking the truth in love. We'll be all about presenting our body, a living sacrifice. Everybody say a royal priesthood. Yes, my God, presenting our body, a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable under God, which, our, which is our reasonable service. And we'll be all about reconciling. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Folk to God. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. Because he gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Uh, hallelujah. God don't want nobody to perish. Uh, hallelujah. He didn't want us to perish. And uh, look where we at. Uh, oh my God. Somebody said, well, I done been through this and I don't know why. I done been through that. Wait a minute now. I'm the one that made the mistake. You know why my hand got busted the way it got busted and I walk around like that because I, my God, made the mistake. Oh my God, hallelujah. And on top of that, he already told us in the world you're going to have tribulation. <laughs> so don't be deceived. That, oh, I'm in God. Everything's going to be peachy. And yeah, in Christ, that's where it's at. But in the world, you're going to have tribulation. Hallelujah. While we down here, my God, waiting on his return, we're going to have tribulation. Now, hallelujah. So instead of being busy, oh my God, complaining and being busy, talking about, well, I don't know why this happened. I don't know why that happened. No, we need to stay busy being that royal priesthood that offer up, my God, those praises uh, and those sacrifices to God. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, my God. Look at somebody and say, I will bless the Lord at all times. 
Jesus. Yes, and my God, yes, I will. I bless the Lord at all times, and his praise is going to continually be in my mouth. Uh, hallelujah, like Levi. Oh, my God, thank you, Lord, who the Lord, my God, called and used, my God, who is a faithful, my God, priest. Uh, hallelujah, my God, whose heart was in that prayer. My, the right place, my God, before God. Hallelujah, the law of truth stayed in his mouth. No iniquity was found in his lips. Uh, and he walked with God. God said he walked with me in peace and equity. And he turned many from iniquity. My God, he was all about reconciling folk to God. Uh, hallelujah, he was all about the ministry of reconciliation. Uh, hallelujah, God did all this for you. Uh, oh my God, so don't put God to shame. Don't just toss it aside because if you toss it aside, you're going to get tossed aside. Oh my God. Everybody say, but God. Hallelujah. Yes, my God, as long as we're working together with God, hallelujah, and we're building, oh my God, hallelujah, on the, my God, foundation that, oh my God, awesome foundation of Jesus Christ we have. Hallelujah, my God. Then we build upon it, my God, we'll be that temple of God. Hallelujah. That he glorifies it. He honors that his, my God, hallelujah, light will shine forth uh, and his name will be glorified in. Uh, hallelujah. So likewise, uh, my God, hallelujah, as he said, my God, hallelujah of Levi, he says, my covenant, hallelujah, was with him. Uh, oh, my God, my covenant was with him of life and peace. And I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me. That, my God, reverent, worshipful fear that he had for God, my God. God gave him, hallelujah, life and peace. Uh, oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. And that's how he walked with God. He walked in peace and equity with God. Hallelujah, my God. And he was afraid. He was standing in awe before his name, my God. And he revered before his name. He was all about humbling himself before the name of Jesus and not taking the name of the Lord in vain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God. Come on, would you stand with me? Because, hallelujah, we have been called, uh, hallelujah, to be a royal priesthood. He made us kings and priests. Uh, hallelujah. Yes, the Lamb of God uh, has shed his blood. Uh, oh, my God. He's purchased us uh, with his own blood. And so we need to stay busy. Hallelujah, my God. Coming forth in the ministry of reconciliation. Working together with God. Being laborers together with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, and remembering, hallelujah, my God, oh my God, the Labor Day is not just about laying aside, no, but it's working together with God, uh, hallelujah, we need to stay, every day need to be Labor Day, uh, we need to be workers together with God, uh, we need to work together with Him, uh, hallelujah, my God, and having that kind of heart, hallelujah, my God, that will always who honor him in the name of the Lord Jesus that will always glorify him. Hallelujah. That will always present our body to him a living sacrifice. Holy. Everybody ought to say holy. holy. Yes, my God. And remember God say, be ye holy, for I am holy. Now God, being a spirit, you know, it ain't all about just how you look, is it? No. Uh -uh. It's all about who you are on the inside. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. So if we're going to be holy, we got to be holy. Everybody say on the inside. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. Oh, my God. Be renewed in the spirit of our mind and be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. So while we are busy, hallelujah, being working together with him, thank you, Lord. We'll be ready for his return and we won't be deceived by the false prophets oh my God and all the signs and wonders that's going to deceive so many in the name of the Lord Jesus come on let's go before God gracious glorious God hallelujah we come before you oh my God as a royal priesthood my God hallelujah as kings and priests that you have made us before your holy throne great God hallelujah help us to always be those oh my God that are stay busy speaking the truth in love hallelujah Hallelujah, my God, your law of truth always being in our mouth and no iniquity being found in our lips. And us always walking, my God, with you. 
uh, in peace and in equity and my God and be busy turning many away from iniquity oh my God hallelujah oh yes my God and be oh my God being those my God hallelujah that minister in my God that ministry of reconciliation uh, hallelujah in the name of the Lord Jesus always being those my God hallelujah that hallelujah that my God are all about reconciling the world to you uh, because that's what you all about uh, hallelujah oh yes you oh my God hallelujah we're in Christ reconciling the world unto yourself my God and you my God have done that great work uh, and my God you're willing that none perish uh, oh my God but that all come unto repentance uh, hallelujah my God and help us to all be steadfast work us together with you uh, oh my God laboring together with you oh great God hallelujah in the name of the Lord Jesus help us to be those blessed ambassadors of Christ uh, hallelujah my God hallelujah and my God ministering the truth and love of, my God calling all to be reconciled to God in the name of the Lord Jesus we know it's the last days hallelujah my God but we also know that now is the accepted time hey <laughs> God and right now is the day of salvation so in this blessed day hallelujah help us to be workers together with you oh my God hallelujah oh my God going forth in that ministry of reconciliation hallelujah and encouraging all in Christ's stead to be reconciled to God. Everybody ought to shout in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, say it like you mean it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, my God. Help us, my God. Be those royal priests. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, those kings and priests. That's all about taking care of your business. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus.